The three astronauts aboard China's Shenzhou 15 spaceship entered the country's space station and met with another astronaut trio on Wednesday, a historic gathering that added the manpower at the in-orbit space lab to six for the first time. According to the China Man Space Agency, the space reunion has kicked off the country's first in-orbit crew rotation. Gao Xu, a senior spaceship designer at the China Academy of Space Technology, said the rotation can verify the feasibility of the regular rotation mode that will follow. He said that in the future, an average of two launches of crewed spaceships every year will become routine. From this space mission mode, we will be able to get the new mission to the new mission, and the old mission to the new mission. But this mission can be able to make our space mission a place where there is a human being. Actually, if there is a human being, it means that our mission is actually a continuing mission. It's not like before, we can get the new mission to the next mission, and then we can get the next mission to the next mission. 那么，为了应对我们这种高密度的研制工作呢，那整个自然飞船团队也是做了充足的准备。呃，无论是从这个技术流程的优化，还是从研制手段的改进，我们都做了大量的工作。The Shenzhou 14 astronauts, who were sent to the space station in June, plan to complete the in-orbit work handover in about five days, and then return to the Dongfeng landing site in North China's Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. The CMSA said the Shenzhou 15 mission will wrap up the last stage of the space station construction and kick off the first stage of its application and development. During their six-month mission, the Shenzhou 15 crew will carry out tests related to long-term residence in China's space station at its three-module configuration. The Shenzhou 15 mission this space flight is the last time of the space flight of the space station. This space flight of the space station is the 的一个重要意义，就是我们将圆满完成咱们中国空间站的这样一个建造过程。同时呢，咱们神舟十五号还是首次和由五个飞行器组成的这样一个 T 字构型的空间站组合体进行交会对接。那我们的对接目标的这个规模和吨位也是前所未有的。